So you can assess a child at different points during the lesson, during the anchor task, as they are all working together. You can eavesdrop and see what they're talking about, who are giving ideas that are appropriate or fairly spectacular, and who are the ones who are struggling to understand what's happening. So during the anchor task, by observing, we can tell who is advanced, who is struggling with that problem. But of course, the teacher already know, roughly, amongst the children in the class, who are the ones who often struggle and who are the ones who are often ahead. During the guided practice, there's another opportunity to tell who are the ones who are getting the idea. So as they add other examples, 8 plus 6, 9 plus 7, 6 plus 5 in the guided practice, you can tell who are the ones who are still adding by counting all or counting on, who are the ones who are on target adding by making 10, and who are the ones who are finding the lesson way too easy. That means they are adding, making 10, but also doing it fairly quickly. In other words, the tasks are trivial to them. And of course, a third opportunity in assessing during the lesson is when they are working on their independent practice in the workbook. Are they able to do those independently? And if they can, are they finding the task too trivial? And if they cannot, are they able to do it with concrete materials? Are they able to do it with some scaffolding? And if they are really struggling and are working below grade level, then I will check, are they able to add numbers such as 3 and 4, 5 and 1, so they are not able to add numbers within 20, but can they do numbers within 10? 